Hello, welcome, welcome, welcome to Tired Old Queen at the Movies. Let's go see our best friend in the world, Steve Hayes. Shh, shh, John, come in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Johnny, we hadn't done a thriller in a long time, so I decided to do one of the great political thrillers ever made. John Frankenheimer's production of The Manchurian Candidate, starring Frank Sinatra, Lawrence Harvey, Janet Lee, Angela Lansbury, James Gregory, and Leslie Parrish. This was based on a novel by Richard Condon. It was very controversial at the time. It concerns a troop of soldiers who are captured by the Koreans during the Korean War, and they are brainwashed by the communists. And one of them is set up to be a political assassin. The sergeant is Lawrence Harvey, and under him is Frank Sinatra. And when they get back to civilian life, they're, they're rescued, and they all don't remember really what happened to them, except that you know the next thing they knew, they were back into civilian life. And every night, they all of them keep having these terrible, terrible nightmares. And they specifically focus on Frank Sinatra's. And he is having this nightmare where he is sitting with his men and they are, one second, they're being interrogated by the Koreans, uh, the communists, and the next moment, they're sitting in a garden party and a woman is lecturing about plants to them. She'll say to Lawrence Harvey, Tell me, Raymond, have you ever killed anyone? No, ma'am. And then the focus goes back and it's the Asian general and he'll say, do you know this man over here? And Lawrence Harvey looks and he'll say, well, yes, that's so-and-so from my troop. He's one of the nicest men we know. And, he, and then they go back to the woman and she'll say, all right, kill him. What are you doing? What's going on? And, and Lawrence Harvey looks up at Sinatra and goes, what's happening to me? I remember, Ben. I just don't remember. And you start to go, whoa. So Sinatra goes and tells this whole thing to the government officials what's going on. And they say, what we have to figure out is who's his contact? Who is his, who's making him play solitaire? And who's his contact here? Then what's the next contact? If I told you anything other after this, it would ruin a great movie for you. And you've got to see this film. Um, it was dicey. Uh, they, Frank Sinatra was a little bit was a little bit scared to be involved with it, even though he really, really wanted to do it. And he went to Kennedy and he said, uh, and, uh, Mr. President, we're shooting the Manchurian Candidate. And Kennedy's reaction was, oh, I love that book. Who's playing the mother? <laughs> it was his first reaction. So he got, that was right. And it was shot during the Cuban Missile Crisis. So it was shot at the height of the Cold War. The movie, when it came out, was a big, big hit. And not too long afterwards, Kennedy was assassinated. Um, there was a lot of rumors for many years that they pulled this movie because of the Kennedy assassination, and that's not true. By the time that the assassination came, the movie had played all over the country. It had run its course. So that really wasn't a, you know, an issue. Uh, and in 1965, when ABC inaugurated the Thursday night movie, The Manchurian Candidate was shown on national television as the first movie on the ABC Thursday night movie. So it wasn't, you know, held in, in that respect. In, the copyright ran out in the early 70s and Frank Sinatra bought the rights and he held on to it for a number of years. And then he re-released it in 1987 and it was a big hit again. And, uh, you know, people really really loved it for what it was. Angela Lansbury was nominated for the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress that year. She won the Golden Globe, she won the National Board of Review, and she lost to Patty Duke for The Miracle Worker. Uh, they recently gave Angela Lansbury an honorary Oscar, and they should have, because she's just so brilliant. And she's always said that this was the best thing that she ever did. Um, she said, it was my luck. She said, Lawrence Harvey was so handsome, and I was only three years older than him, and I had to play his mother. She said, <laughs> she said it was so it was frustrating. She said, you know, sometimes I think you came to us for another century. It's a movie that has a lot of relevance today. It's a movie that holds up, and it is a movie that is going to keep you tied to your seat to the very last frame. It's brilliantly acted, beautifully directed by one of the great directors of the 60s, and you are going to be enthralled and fascinated by John Frankenheimer's legendary production of The Manchurian Candidate. Let's all go to the... Takes the queen to know a queen. Solitaire.
ourselves a treat.